Okay guys, <clears throat> today we're working on something different. Uh, this is my uh, Dell Venue tablet. Um, it's a docking tablet, it has this nice little dock and it works perfectly. It's easy to use, does its job. Um, but unfortunately it stopped taking the charge and then it died completely um, and the battery wasn't even dead. So what I'm hoping, I'm, I'm going to try to get some data out of it uh, and I don't want to hook up the uh, M.2 SSD that's in here just to like, you know, extract data. I want to spin up the Windows itself and then do the proper backup of it. So because of that, I got another one of these Dell venues. This is a little, little bit different. Uh, it's This one has a i5 instead of M core inside, but I hope they're similar enough for me to just pop it off and you know drop the dr uh, drop the um, drive in so that's what I'm gonna do today uh, basically I'm just gonna take the battery out first from this one so okay, that this and <clears throat> also wanna say this one uh, this one is messed up as well so there is a, a circuit board down here that was damaged, liquid damaged, and then everything like kind of corroded and then killed the computer itself. So what I did, I just unplugged all of these connections, as you can see, that were going uh, down here, and that kind of enables it to run most of the time. Kind of, kind of works. Not perfectly, but kind of works. So I'm just gonna try to uh, take the. Um, M.2 drive from this one to this one and see if it's gonna work. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. Uh, nice thing about these little guys is it's super easy to take them apart, at least for you know most of the part. So I'm just gonna take my spudging tools and take it out. So what you do, you just go find a spot and try to get in and enough what about this guy oh yeah yep so at this point you just start peeling it off and Bob's your uncle all right so before I take the M.2 I'm just gonna unplug the power here so it's completely dead I'm gonna pop this one out Just kind of take it up. All right, got this bit boy out. So I'm gonna move this way. Take this little guy. So I'm gonna get a tape here. I'm gonna remove beforehand, and also we get some wiring here. I might go and get in the way, but no problem. All right, I'm just gonna screw this screw. Take this drive out. All right, awesome. Pop this buddy guy. Gonna pop this guy in. All right, it's all the way in. I'm gonna secure it back with a screw. This looks right, right? So I hope these two machines are similar enough so Windows kind of just don't care about it and it starts working. So I'm going to pop the battery in. I think it has enough charge and let's see if this is going to work. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see if Windows is gonna work. Let's 
Well, it's trying to boot up. That's a good thing. Okay. I don't know if this is a good bad a good thing or a bad thing. We're at nineteen point three volts, one amp drawing right now. Device ready, fifty percent. It's a good thing. Everything's there. Sweet. Let's see the battery. Okay, so the network driver. Yeah, the network gotta be updated, but everything else seems to be working. All right, there you go. As you saw, uh, just swapping out the M.2 from the, uh, one machine to another, um, basically did it. Um, they were similar enough for Windows not to care. And I gotta say that the bit, uh, bit locker uh, for the hard drive in this case was turned off um, that might be an issue if you have a bit locker it might be encrypted only for that machine and that machine only so uh, this computer works right now downside is I don't have um, I don't have um, uh, network drivers installed but I'm gonna do so and we'll see how that works I'm gonna replace the uh, network uh, card from this uh, Dell Venue 11 this one uh, problem is um, I can't find the drivers that are gonna work so basically I swapped out the SSD um, M.2 SSD drive from this one to this one but then um, I couldn't install the drivers that were uh, assigned to this card so I'm hoping by swapping the cards around it's just gonna be plug and play and it's gonna work right out of the box so uh, let's see if that's that's gonna happen so I'm just gonna uh, open both of these up and see if I can swap the card okay it should be easy, fairly easy basically just pop these guys off other one as well All right pop off the little guys okay pop up the other one all right awesome okay let's um Screw. The rest should be fairly simple. Just uh, pop up the this one. Slide it out. Do the same here. other one right here all right awesome 
Alright, put the screw back. Secured. Now pop in the little antennas. Okay, that's awesome. Now another one. Just gonna put it back in this spot where it was before. In. that's good yeah. okay this thing goes on top all right I'm gonna start it up and see if it's gonna detect the network card properly all right we got the Bluetooth back and we get the Wi-Fi showing up Let's see if it's gonna connect to the network by default no but it's there so that's a good sign all right well that worked awesome well guys thank you for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it if you didn't um, probably I'm gonna have a better one next time thank you take care bye bye